Hi, I am Master Ali, and welcome to Kyosho Jetsu Malaysia. Greetings everyone, I am Grandmaster Ali and I would like to welcome you to my latest course and this is the seventh course in my Adding Kyosho Jutsu 2 series called Adding Kyosho Jutsu to Tang Sudu. And just to say who I am, I'm Grandmaster Ali, I'm a seventh Dan in Kyosho Jutsu, okay, which is the system and the study of pressure points, okay? And this being my seventh course in, in my adding Kyosho Jutsu 2 series, and what is that series about? I am adding Kyosho Jutsu to various martial arts, okay? And this is knowledge that you're not getting from your sensei, and if you are, very little, I can assure you of that, okay? And this is knowledge that you need to incorporate with your martial art, okay? I have a background in ninjutsu, okay? And I started learning pressure points back in 2017, okay? And, and when I started to learn and get on this path of studying Kyosho Jutsu, my ninjutsu took a whole new level. I understood a lot more. <clears throat> I started now, actually now, since I've been doing a lot of kata interpretations, I'm starting to re-look at my kata, ninjutsu kata, of what we've been taught, which is possibly wrong. So this is actually knowledge that, you know, should be available to everyone. And when you start to incorporate pressure points, <coughs> sorry about that, when you start to incorporate pressure points with your martial art, you know, it's like, here is your martial art, here is pressure points, put them together, and it is a match made in heaven. All right? And <coughs> let's just continue and talk a little bit more. So adding Kyosho Jutsu to Tang Sudu, and here is the kanji for Tang Sudu. And, well, I don't think call it kanji in... Korea. <laughs> Kanji is Japanese. My apologies. Okay. Well, I don't know what they call it in Korea. I'm sorry. But anyway, there's a famous picture here. Famous fight. Famous battle between Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris. And um, some of you, those of you who train in Tang Sudu will understand why I use this, this image for my cover for this course. Because Chuck Norris, when he was 18 years old, was in the army in Korea, South Korea, and studied Tang Sudu. Okay, and when he went back to America, started training Tang Sudu and created the American Tang Sudu. <laughs> so, his uh, portrait for Tang Sudu. <laughs> so, this was a great fight scene. I remember this back in the days, back in the late 70s, and. Uh, now they're calling it Way of the Dragon, but in my days I remember it as Return of the Dragon. So whatever the name was, was a great fight scene. And all of you who have who have been in that era understand. <laughs> That's all I can say. Right? So let's move on here. Now, for those of you who have been exposed to pressure points by your sensei, okay, or master. Uh, you may have been exposed to a picture, something like this, where they show a, a skeletal man here with the muscular system here, and all these names with the arrows and lines pointing to where the point should be. But what's missing from here is the angle of attack, okay, the direction, 45 degrees, two-way action. Okay, which is very important to activate the pressure points. And also what's missing too is some points are strike points, some points are press points, and some points are rub points. How do you know which one is which? You don't. So this is what's been lacking from our training. 
And this is what I've been trying to achieve and accomplish. And I have my own Kyosho Jetsu Black Belt course that hopefully once you finish this course, you can continue on and get a black belt in Kyosho Jetsu. And then start to teach others as well. Okay. I remember back in the day, I used to watch videos of the Grand Master of Ninjutsu, Hatsumi. Okay, and, and I would be in awe, utterly awe, watching this little short Japanese fella, <laughs> okay, against these big six something feet European muscular guys. And just like that, he would bring them down to the ground. I said, wow, I want to do that too, <laughs> right? So. When I started my journey of pressure points and I and I look back now at those videos, I said, hey, wow, that's what he's doing. All his strike points are all pressure points. That's why he can he can release the knee, he can release the elbow, he can release the, the neck, he can he can he can do all these things effortlessly. And he made a comment some time ago that says, power is not necessary. And for those of you who remember back in the day, you know, we used to do hard training. Okay, I've been it's in Ninjutsu since 1997. I remember some of those days. And maybe even back in the 80s, I wasn't involved in Ninjutsu at that time. But maybe it was a little bit more extreme of the type of power training you went through. If you've been around that long, you would understand what I'm, what I'm referring to. So the thing is, is that that may not have been the right path. Okay, by understanding the human body better and a little bit more deeper, we could have achieved the same goals without using all that power. So now I can understand why the Grand Master of Ninjutsu said power is not necessary. So I've taken the the. Um, Pion from Tang Sudu, and I've broken it down into nine key moves that we will go through. I will I will do several things with you. One, I will I will interpret the kata, which may be different, not maybe most likely different from the way you've been interpreting before, and then I would overlay the pressure points. And you would see. And actually, what's really interesting, what I've learned in doing all these different courses, is that actually, um, I can, because of my knowledge with pressure points, I can reverse engineer the kata. I can reverse engineer it with a principle, from the original principle to a technique, and make it appear as the kata. This is remarkable. Okay, and that's with the knowledge of pressure points. So, if you're trying to understand your kata and you're having difficulties, maybe the missing element for you is Kyosho Jetsu. Alright, so enjoy the free preview after this, and I hope to see you in my course. Thank you. Ah, 